Hi and welcome Sagittarius, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your weekly predictions from the 30th of September through to the 6th of October 2019. It is a general reading, so always trust your own intuition and guidance, what resonates with you, leave what does not. If you want a personal reading with me, more attuned to your own energy and circumstances, reach out, I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome, awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, you'll get more great content from me. For those that regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome, love your support. Before we get started, there is a coupon code running for October. It's going to pop up over here in a second. You can get $10 off a personal reading with me or a distance Reiki energy healing session. All you need to do is take that coupon code, cross to the booking form, enter it when prompted to get your discount. Yeah, everything else you need to know. In the description box below it is case sensitive that code all right first up we're going to have a look at an opening energy from the precious gems oracle and uh, i always suggest that you watch the weekly in combination with the monthly one which is a lot more extended yeah highest level guidance for um sagittarius at this time mm, here we go Ah, you've got Chalcedony conversion, and there's just a super important message on this one. Beautiful blue color, by the way. Let's pull you up the guidance, Sagittarius. Number nine, by the way, which also represents the end of a difficult cycle, new cycle starting. Mm -hmm. Can also represent high connection to spirit, the angelic realm. It says, Sagittarius. Doubts, fear, and weariness gather to me like lost souls in the winter. By my hearth they are warmed and fed and restored. In place of doubt stands confidence. Where there was fear, there is courage. By the manner of my love, weakness is now strength. Like beings awakened in the spring, they are returned to the world whole and purposeful. And uh, this beautiful gem will transform sadness to joy, anger to patience, and uh, can help you let go of self-doubt, resentment, and procrastination. Also promotes friendship and is a stone of brotherhood. And uh, it can help you build working relationships or heal a rift with a loved one. And uh, it's calm, cooling properties naturally energize and strengthen those connections, both mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's an affirmation here that says, I am cool, calm, and energized. I transform negativity into positive thoughts and actions. I'm a valuable friend and appreciate the friends I have. I'm confident and radiate waves of positive energy. It's all about shifting your energy, yeah, from negative to positive. All right, let's have a look at your predictions. With the uh, Angel Oracle nine card spread. And uh, first up, let's have a look at the situation. Say half the deck wants to fly out, Sagittarius. Mm. You've got the dreamer, Archangel Metatron, yeah? Time to take a leap of faith, go after your dreams, yeah? Have faith and confidence in yourself at this time. When you do that, unexpected opportunities will come your way. It's all about trust in yourself. All right, let's have a look at the challenge. Mm. Not much of a challenge, I've got to say. You've got the six of earth. If you have a look, it's a balance of scales, but there are filled with coins. Yeah, a little fairy in between them. It's saying gifts of money coming your way for your time, your efforts, possibly paying off a uh, loan or a debt and uh, new career opportunities on the horizon for you. All coming in. All right, let's have a look at the basis of the situation. Wow. There's a lot of amazing stuff coming your way, Sagittarius. So you've got the victory card, good news on its way, possibly public recognition, which is often about your own achievements, the things you've been working on, whether it's to do with your career, whether it's to do with something that you're passionate about, could be a cause that you're involved in, it could be sporting. Um, it could be victory over the past as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Amount of healing and personal growth you've gone through. All right, this is in the recent past. Mm -hmm. Wow, so much good news here. Page of fire, news of an exciting new venture. Mm. 
definitely related to business or career. The ability for you to use your creativity, your ideas, um, which is being more in your own flow. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at the present. Mm. You've got the four of air and it's saying take some time for rest or rejuvenation, a holiday, vacation before you make any decisions. It kind of feels like you've done a lot of hard work, Sagittarius, and you just need to pause and take a little bit of time out. Mm -hmm. I must admit that read, that message was coming through clearly in your monthly reading for October. All right, let's have a look at the near future. I have to say your cards are jumping. I don't know if your energies are feeling a bit scattered at the moment. Oh, this is beautiful. So you've got the Ten of Earth, a very happy and contented family life, finding the magic in things, yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right, let's have a look at your energy, which again is all over the place. <laughs> Dare I say you might need to get your feet on Mother Earth to ground your energies at the moment. Hmm. You've got the seven of fire, which is about uh, defending your beliefs, your ideas, your values, standing up for yourself and what you know is right. Mm -hmm. Looking after yourself, what's most important to you. All right, let's have a look at the energy of the people around you. Mm. What a fire energy coming out. You've got the ten of fire. Yeah, too much work going on, stress-related health concerns. Um, the need for more balance and compromise, whether that's your energy in relation to others, whether it's the people that are closest to you that are feeling a bit stressed at this time, it could be both. That's why the need for rest and relaxation is there. So it's in your hopes and fears position, yeah? Seven of water, a complex decision to make, take your time. Mm -hmm. Does say stop procrastinating. So if you're holding yourself back, it sort of comes back to your first energy which is about taking a leap of faith mm -hmm. all right let's have a look at the outcome oh, i've got to say energy is just i have to say i have to say sagittarius your energy is untidy <laughs> what does that mean it's so you need to ground yourself mm -hmm. oh my god it's definitely need for some rest mm. You've got Renewal, Archangel, Jeremiah. Yeah, it's all about reviewing the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Mm -hmm. Time of renewal, change, transformation. It might be a new direction in life in, in terms of the family unit. It can be in terms of um, definitely career path, possibly even wanting to relocate. The message coming through. Let's pull you some guidance with an energy oracle. What is it Sagittarius needs to know at this time? Oh, here it is. Absolutely need to take some time for rest and rejuvenation, some calming time, mm -hmm. meditation, quiet time in nature to bring the energies down. Mm. There's also an attachment you need to release yourself from. It could just be holding on to the past when everything's saying for you that you need to move forward, right? Holding yourself back when really you've got all these amazing opportunities that want to happen for you. Um, it's really about just holding yourself stuck. Facing that side of self and truthful and honest with yourself about what's, what's holding you back. Hmm. You've also got the appreciation card. You should stop and just smell and, pour and smell the roses, yeah. Um, it's about getting in touch with nature, getting in touch with life, or realizing how good it is around you. Um, particularly if you've been working really, really hard, it's the time the universe is saying, stop, Sagittarius, just stop and take some time for self. Um, it's also about appreciating how far you've come, how amazing you are, your own divinity, What else does Sagittarius need to know? Mm. Definitely on this journey of transformation, journey of change. You might be traveling, absolutely might be traveling. 
uh, squeeze guide and squeeze messenger oracle. Or is it Sagittarius needs to know at this time? Mm. You've got know you belong, particularly if you've got all these exciting ventures coming in, career opportunities coming in. It's about accepting all parts of self. Know that you deserve them, mm -hmm. that you have your own unique gifts and talents to bring to these opportunities and offers. Mm -hmm. It also means that you do not need to change yourself to fit in or be accepted by a group, by other people. Mm -hmm. It's about just being yourself. Mm. Wow. You've also got respect your boundaries. So a couple of meanings to this. It means um, putting healthy boundaries in place with people around your time and your energy, which I think would be super important, particularly around your energy. Um, it's also about not putting boundaries around yourself that are so tight that you don't step out of your comfort zone. You don't let people into your world. Mm -hmm. It's also number 33, which means uh, you may have an ascended master trying to send messages to you, connect to you. You could be an ascended master. Mm. You've also got follow the moon. So watch the moon cycles on your um, emotions, yeah, as well as your energy. Um, you may feel particularly out of sorts around new moons, full moons this month. On the bottom of the deck, you've got be patient with yourself. All right, let's put your crowning energy from the uh, Ask an Angel Oracle. And let's do what you need to know, Sagittarius, this week. Oh, wow. You've got children here. She's got a massive butterfly sitting over her belly there. Um, this angel represents Archangel Metatron, who's one of the strongest archangels we have in the universe. Let's pull you up the guidance. Your children might need more attention at this time. It says Sagittarius, Archangel Metatron acts as the link between human and the divine, and that's exactly what children are. It's no wonder he is the patron angel of children. Children completely live in the now. They live in the truth of their feelings and perceptions. Children come completely from the God space and through childhood learn to navigate and integrate into the human world. As adults, we hope to integrate the lesson that the human world is the God space dreaming. And at the end of our lives, we'll return to the original source. As children, the world is full of possibilities. It's a magical place to be explored and enjoyed. Feelings, magic, curiosity, adventure, and imagination. All of these qualities live, breathe, and express themselves through the open and innocent heart of a child. If you've drawn this card today, it's time for you to open up to the wonder of life. Time for you to connect to the child within. It's time to play, explore, feel, and connect to the realms of possibility. It's time to let go of the need to do and embrace the need to be, all through reading. Mm -hmm. A release from all the should do's, the pressures, responsibilities, and seriousness of busy, uptight, and often grumpy adult life is necessary now. Now's the time to be curious, explore, play, and connect to the magic of life. If you have children or are close to any children, use them as your guide. Let them be your teacher and remind you of how to be free in your spirit and explore the wonders of life, creativity, imagination, and possibility. <laughs> Such sage advice right now, Sagittarius. All right, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget, grab your coupon code before you go if you want to get $10 off a personal reading or distance Reiki energy healing session with me. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.